Okay. Um, uh, the thing that uh, people with uh, policy, which, which I th think is very important, is to remember that this is a metabolic uh, um, illness. It's not. Uh, it's something which it's a metabolic illness, and it's it's really set by your genes. It's something we more uh, more prone to uh, um, to develop. It's there's nothing you can. Uh, uh, it's like there are people who are more prone to having uh, the, uh, get developing the common cold. Uh, I'm I'm someone who hardly ever gets a cold uh, um, through winter, but I have uh, one of my sisters gets bad colds all the time. There are some people who are allergic to penis. There there are different things which people are genetically more prone to, and polycystic ovarian syndrome is one of those things. There's nothing fundamental. It's just one of those things that you are more prone to. And there's no cure. It's not like you can. There's something you can take that will stop you having polycystic ovarian syndrome. Unfortunately, not. You are born with it. You're going to live through your reproductive life with it. And it's until you go through the change, the menopause, that you'll stop having it. So it, it's um, uh, there's no magic bullet out there that will stop. But you, we can manage it. It can be managed, and it can be managed very successfully. A with with either lifestyle changes. Where you're watching your diet, where you're, uh, um, you're, you're you're exercising and you're eating healthily, it can be managed with uh, with medications such as the pill in order for us to uh, to regulate your period, and that is to protect the lining of your womb so that you don't develop things like uh, like um, like uh, 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 hyperplasia of the uh, of the uh, of the lining of the womb, which can lead to cancer of the, or cancer of the endometrium. And uh, and lastly. Your chance. There are many interventions uh, because most, very, very many women with polycystic ovarian syndrome would be worried about their chances of fertility, and it is something that can be um, um, that can be managed quite uh, and is managed quite well in terms of of, uh, of our uh, our experience and expertise in in treating women with polycystic ovarian syndrome for them to get pregnant and have a baby we've we have been doing it very well for lot for very very many years decades in fact and so uh, don't get the stigma of thinking oh i've got polycystic ovarian all is lost no they, there's actually very a lot of interventions a lot of simple and a, uh, and even for difficult cases lo a lots of interventions which we are we are able to treat w women very successfully with the silver lining for women with polycystic ovarian syndrome you have lots of eggs and if there's one thing in the fertility world which a doctor uh, uh, a fertility doctor uh, like myself uh, um, uh, finds easier it's if you're treating a woman and she has lots of eggs it means more opportunity for, for you to for her to get pregnant because the opposite is if you have no eggs there is no opportunity to get pregnant unless you're going to use donor eggs so women with polycystic ovarian should, should not be downhearted at all there is a lot that can be done if you suspect that you do have polycystic ovarian syndrome go and see your doctor there um, um the doctor can 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 diagnose you properly because there are many women who have polycystic ovaries not polycystic ovarian syndrome who have polycystic ovaries who get misdiagnosed and told that they have polycystic ovarian syndrome and they start getting worried when they actually they do not have polycystic ovarian they just have polycystic ovaries and these women have regular periods they are ovulating normally they um uh, uh, they can conceive naturally without any issue but they get labeled when they have a, an opportunist scan that says oh I've noticed you have lots of polycystic ovaries. No, that, that's more common. It's about 20% of the female population have polycystic ovaries. Only about 5% of women have polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is the uh, appearance of polycystic ovaries and the irregular, um, irregular uh, periods and signs of raised uh, male, um, male, uh, male hormone activity, such as uh, um, the... Uh, um, Male pattern uh, uh, hair growth on on, on their faces, uh, male pattern baldness. That's those are the women we're really talking about today. The polycystic ovarian syndrome women, and but there is a lot of help out there. It's not it's not at all anywhere close to doom and gloom. There is a lot, and there actually is a lot counting for you.